Hello everyone, welcome to a new day and a new recipe of cooking with Christian. So today we will do some uh, potato gnocchi, potato dumpling to be correct in English. So we have boiled potatoes, I boiled in advance because it will take too long. So when you boil the potato make sure you start with cold water. So the potato need to be washed, and then put inside the cold water and then they start to boil together. And very important with the skin, skin on, and then after we will peel and we will mash. And then we have uh, just a little bit of flour, just simple white flour. This is too much, we'll only use a little bit. Um, then we will use for the sauce a little bit of Taleggio cheese, which is very fat and creamy cheese. I will use maybe a bit of uh, a touch of milk or water, I will decide later. And uh, let's start with the potato gnocchi. So we peel the potatoes as I mentioned. Try to go to here so you can see. So during the peeling of the potato, I would like to mention that it's very important that the potato shouldn't be too soft and not too hard neither. Need to be just cooked uh, in the perfect way. How to realize when the potato is cooked? Very simple. You just take it, the knife or a small fork, anything. Then you punch and you should feel that it's soft, not too soft, not too hard. As I mentioned before, very, very important is to start with the cold water and then they should boil together and to <coughs> cook with the skin on. Why with the skin on? Because the skin helps to protect the water to go too fast inside the potato and not to have too much water in the potato. So when you make this recipe, it's very important that the potatoes are dry inside, not too wet. Uh, another very important thing I want to mention today is about our hands. Yes, our hands should be clean and sanitized, but make sure when you use the sanitizer, these uh, hand sanitizers, not to, um, I mean, after you use it, if you have to start cooking, be very careful because it contains alcohol. So, of course, having a, a base of uh, alcohol, it's very easy to, to go on fire. So I have advise you when you start cooking to wash again your hands with warm water, soap, and then you can start cooking with gas, no problem, with fires, same as usual. But we don't understand that we keep abusing of this sanitizer sometimes inside the house, but inside the house we should wash our hands with warm water, soap for a few minutes and then dry very well and we're ready to cook. Okay, our first part of peeling the potato and to give the information about the sanitizer is done. Now we go and put our small knife back where it was. Now, I just realized I don't have uh, the tool to mash the potato, but never mind, I will do something very homemade. So I take the potato and I mash with this. Because as I mentioned yesterday, I already mentioned a few times, we have to survive what we have, because sometimes we're not allowed to go for shopping or uh, like today it was very cold and snowing and we have to give priority to other people to go buy things. But still, we should not give up <coughs> on cooking our recipes. So that's what we do. Today we decide we make gnocchi and we use something else to mash our potatoes. Now, our potatoes are mashed somehow. We'll check with my hands. I'll give another twist. Okay. They look to be good. As I mentioned before, they don't have too much water inside. 
have dirty hands, but that's the funny part of being a chef. We always having dirty hands. So now, my recipe, of course, is for only one person. I can't invite you here. So I made a very small quantity of potato, which is actually the potato left from yesterday. Very simple. I hope you can see. I made like rectangular or actually almost square. So this is the base for our potato. So consider inside the potato already put the salt. So I will not let me wash very fast my hands. I'm here and coming back. Okay, so we have our potato mashed beautifully arranged. So my recipe is with little bit flour. So there is no quantity. That's the trick. There is just to go in the top of the potato and not too thick, very, very thin. I hope you can see it. Okay. Yeah, this quantity of flour is more than enough because um, for this uh, recipe, actually, the flour should be very, very minimum just to give some extra starch and gluten to the dough and not to be break when we're going to boil. By the way, here it's our uh, pot that with the uh, water and a little bit salt that we will use to boil the potatoes, gnocchi ones they're ready. This with the meat. This will sit here, this will use later. Now, we have a little bit lemon. I will show you for what is the lemon and the rucola. This will complement our cheese sauce because the cheese is very fat. So when you have something very fat, you need something acid in order to, to, give, to bring things together once again, because when it's too, flat, uh, too fat, it will become also too fat. Flat. So you need something to contrast all the time your recipes. If it's same like the soup yesterday, different story, you have already enough flavor. But today you will see that everything is very tasty, but there is the need of something give the extra twist to the recipe. But let's come back to our potato gnocchi. So we have put the flour, we have put uh, the potatoes, the salt, we still have just a touch of salt sea salt of course okay uh, normally in potato gnocchi most of the chef put a uh, nutmeg and i would put as well but i don't have it so just to give i give just very little teeny touch of black pepper very little what is one of my recipe is to add a little bit parmesan cheese parmigiano reggiano in our gnocchi. So this will give the test. So what we do, uh, in this case, we need to grate the parmesan. It's very important to be very, very thin. So we take the grater and we just go together with our, it should be even thinner, but never mind. Um, so this same story with the flour. Yeah? So we have put our parmesan cheese. We have put our flour. If you make bigger quantity, like if food would be double quantity of this, this is like, uh, let's say, half, less than half kilo potatoes. Uh, I would advise you to put one egg, but because it's so small, I, I will do without. So I will be very careful not to break them and uh, I will do without eggs. Now, once this is done, it's time to put all together. So we go and we just work like if it would be just pasta dough, yeah? Just first. So when you make pasta dough, maybe I will do one of this day. It's very important to break first your uh, dough in pasto, we say in Italy. And then once you break it, which means become like this, everything goes together. So now that everything goes together, as you see, your table should not be too dirty because everything should stay inside the dough for the gnocchi, not on the table. 
and you should try not to use too much flour because the flour will change the taste of your recipe, right? So now we have this beautiful dough that normally should rest for 10-15 minutes even in the fridge to be easier to work but because we are live here we will have to do a la minute. So what we do here I will transfer this here in the cutting board so we can work in the clean way and we don't ruin the table of this apartment. Allow me to rinse my hands and I will be right back. Meanwhile, you can watch at the door without my face. It's still there, still alive. Okay, uh, I'm back uh, where we were, we were here. So now why I give this shape? Most of the chefs would have now, or the ladies at home, whatever, they would have made a big round shape and then roll it. But actually it's much easier to make like this, you see, and then go like this. And you actually have them already done, you see? It's already cut, and now I will show you how easy it is to roll it. Just touch of flour, because this is not a marble table, or uh, I don't want to ruin what we have done until now. And then you can roll. Very easy. Once you roll it, you have your gnocchi, just to cut. So we make just two or three for our uh, quantity today. I keep here because not too much space. Our water should be on the right time. Now we have this okay, then we use this I washed it yesterday so it's clean. Then the just touch of flour. Okay. Okay. So now very simple what we do. Keep the rest here. Put this here. Now you have two options. One option is to cut like this, and you have gnocchetti, so you just keep it like this. And then you keep separate, not to put too much flour. Okay. So this is already your gnocchi will cook because. It's only potato, there is no need of flour, but you can go the extra mile, make it them a little bit bigger. And then as you see, most of the gnocchi in the shops by the one you buy, very important tool, which is here. Okay. Come back. So we have our gnocchi. You just take it, mash, and here it is our beautiful potato gnocchi. Hope you can see. And you keep here on the side. I make one more. Okay. It's very simple. It doesn't take too long. Then again. And then you continue and you keep here. Don't have to be so regular or anything. So I will make some more.
So what remain after the video I will cook and I will keep maybe for tomorrow or I will give to someone else because I cannot eat too much gnocchi. They're very nice but a little bit heavy, right? So I advise today myself to make them because it's getting very cold outside and I went for shopping so I consume I was supposed actually to go for shopping but maybe I will go later after this I will see okay so the quantity of gnocchi for one person is there I hope that was clear how fast it is and how easy it is. I will make another few so I finish this one. Important is you can wash once a while your fork. Yeah, make one more. So you just press and here it is. Press and here it is. Of course the one you buy in the supermarket might have different uh, shape. So now the water is boiling, different than pasta. The gnocchi has to cook very, very fast. So why I put not together? Because I need to give the time being very, very fresh and very small quantity of flour and almost, no, almost, actually no eggs. I want to make sure that, that they cook very nice. Yeah. Now that we make this guy, I touch this one. Yeah. I put two, three small, so you can see also that if you keep it small, they will also cook. Simple. So we need to be very fast now while they cooking. We need to make our sauce because we need to use, uh, I need to take the frying pan. It's here, fire on. So we take our talejo cheese. How beautiful it is. Look at this piece of cheese. Very long time I don't see because in Asia we didn't have. In Asia actually, especially in Indonesia, unless you are in Jakarta, that is the capital, very difficult to get the original ingredients from Italy. So even, yes, smell very strong, maybe, but you should see this yeah, very, very nice, fantastic. I will also eat later maybe without pasta. So a big chunk of this cheese, big one, yeah. So that's the quantity. It's my proteins of the day and my fat, so no problem. Everybody say I'm too skinny sometimes, so no problem. I can handle this quarantine. So our gnocchi almost ready. So we need to go to be fast I'm here it didn't disappear you can look in the beautiful small kitchen with the cheese that will not get crispy but we will only start to to get soft so what we do we put just a touch of milk of course, you can put cream, it's even much better, but it's so fat that this cheese that don't need. Our gnocchi start to come up before they break. Here you go. So you realize when the gnocchi are ready, it's very simple. When they come on the top, 
then we see that they are ready. Now, this, can you smell it? Yeah. So now we just need to wait the cheese to, to melt, which is almost done. Yeah, our creamy gnocchi. You can help yourself with touch of water. Yeah. Why the water? Because the water still has the starch from the potato. So this will make your sauce even better. Okay. Actually they're ready. We close. So can you see this creamy, beautiful white snow and Fantastic, I have to say, for 10 minutes job, we did a good job today. We take our famous, already by now, black plate. Yeah, you, sh you should not mash them, but can you see, can you see us? Okay, no me, the gnocchi, here you go. Uh, fantastic, so now. This only consuming energy that we don't need, so off. Now for our plating. We have to rearrange a little bit. Cheese goes for a while, just for a few seconds in the fridge after I will organize. Then we don't need this anymore. Put it aside. Rearrange our things. Okay, so here you go. We have our uh, fantastic greenish rucola that I will chop it all so yes I was thinking this stops the video so we need to do the job for nothing okay so make sure when you chop too fast like in this case your full intention should be in what you're doing because too many people like to do other things and then they might get not very nice cutting the finger. So here we have chopped our rucola. Again. Okay. Okay, I have chopped the rucola. This is actually very, very small. Similar like would be our uh, chopped parsley or whatever. A bit of crushed pepper. Just touch. Sea salt. Very important here because it will give the extra <coughs> twist to our recipe. So we have rucola, we have sea salt, we have crushed uh, black pepper. Everything looks good. You need a touch of extra virgin olive oil. We'll never miss. Then you need to take a clean floor. Actually, I can take the spoon. With the spoon, I mix this one, which is Actually, add just a little bit of rucola, olive oil, salt, paper. Now, what is missing? It's the lemon. So the lemon zest, lemon zest means only the yellowish, greenish part of the lemon, depending on the lemon you use. It smells so good, this lemon. This is untreated lemon, very important. Should be not treated because when the lemon is treated with chemical, it's not good to eat the zest, which is, means the skin of the lemon. So now we have, I hope you can see, so the green, the lemon, little bit salt, sea salt, pepper, yeah. So now, because I've used this plate, for the sauce, I need to need to put this preparation somewhere else, which I found here. Yes, 
don't make disaster again. So here we have our preparation. Okay, maybe you can see better. Yeah. Yes, today our kitchen is a bit messy, but this happens when you cook light, so you won't come well for clean, no problem, just let me know. It's clean. We have to clean our area too. Okay. So what we do? We move this here. We don't need. This goes here to be washed and we prepare our plating area. Okay, so we have our plates. Our new now they need just a few seconds of getting together. Then, once it's done, we're ready for plating. So we only need our gnocchi to come back to be... Actually, in French, they say babos when uh, he's making this cheese, this cheesy feeling. Yeah. I like the gnocchi because they are soft, but they're not break, they're not broken. Yeah. And uh, there is no excuse. When you work the gnocchi, you need the right potato, you need to cook the potato in the right way. And everything should go fast. In case you have many friends at home and you need to cook the gnocchi in advance, you can blanch them, which means you can cook. They come back, they go on the top of your water with the pot, you take them out with these tools, and then you put in the water and ice. Yes, water ice, and this they will make them hard. And when you need to prepare the sauce, you just blanch them again, they will be perfectly fine, beautiful, and ready to be cooked with your sauce. Okay, so here we have our uh, cheesy, very cheesy gnocchi. Very gently, we go to arrange in the plate. This recipe is for uh, cheese lovers, but you can easily take only the part how to make potato gnocchi or made. Yeah. Somebody might say this is small quantity. It is not small quantity because it's very healthy dish. Okay. That's why we said we use a little bit of Green. Okay. Because I feel that the sauce is quite strong, I would like to put an extra touch of lemon. Give an extra 
crispness or whatever you feel free to put more cheese if you love cheese or you can put anything else here is our simple potato gnocchi with uh, cheese rucola and lemon zest hope you enjoyed the time with me also today and i'm going to enjoy my meal thank you very much bye bye